Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, I have a very special unboxing, something coming in from DLT Trading. Let's go ahead and take a look. Today, I'm opening up with my Shir Goroff um, Quantum, the uh, Ursus series. This is the E Knives exclusive titanium with a nice metal pattern. Let's see what we got. I think this might be something epic, so pretty excited. I'm trying to stay as calm as I can, not to get overexcited. Not to have an overreaction. Here, I'll take my receipt out. I'm trying to be calm, cool, and collective here. All right. Well, there we go. Herman, let's see what we got. Hmm. All right. So we got a nice patch. Nice little piece of paper here. Got, ooh, some extra ball bearings. Nice. A little screw. And a certificate of authenticity. A Sting 389. All right. All oh, very cool. Really, really cool. All right, let's put this back in there and we'll save that. Put it off to the side and let's take a look. Here we are. So this is my first time ever experiencing this, so I'll just try to be real calm here. Okay, well, here we are. Let me get that off. Oh, I got something on my hands there, sorry. Don't know why I stuck my hand in. <laughs> All right, this is the Herman Sting. Uh, I believe this is orange fat carbon or something like that. Mill titanium, blue anodized. Beautiful pivot, screws there. Look at that back spacer. The texturing is amazing, it's a really nice size. Look at that back spacer, everything right there. And look at that, really, the little screws that come through all around it, like that, really beautiful. That must be for the liner or something inside. And look at that flipper beautifully rounded like that and that backspacer everything nice on the edges nothing sharp i mean it's it's got an edge but it's not sharp and it looks really nice and look at that clip it's got some room so it should go in and out of the pocket nicely smoothed out right there you see that all right let's look at that beautiful scale right there all right here we go oh it's a liner lock. Look at that beautiful liner lock. The milling and the anodized on that. Great access. Look at the perfect roundedness there. We're about a good 20%, 15-20% lockup. Do you see that? All right, let's see the action here. We close. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, listen to the audio. Again, one more time. I guess that's that Herman Singh that they talk about. Wow. That's really cool. Locked up solid. Centering is dead on, which you would expect. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's see that nice click here. Detent. Really nice. Solid in there. That is amazing. Wow. All right, so this is LMAX blade steel. Beautiful steel, beautiful flat grind. Look at that blade, really, really nice. Okay, all right. Wow, okay. That is freaking awesome. That is just awesome. Look at that, look, 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 look. Such a control drop. That is cool. Really cool. Really, really cool. I really like that a lot. Wow. That action's ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. There's a big old pivot there. Screws around here. I think these are T6s. Looks like little T6s, probably. Not a knife that I plan on taking apart, though. Wow, 
that accent is ridiculous. Look at that. Whew. Okay. Everything rounded. It's got a very thick, robust blade to a really nice, strong tip. The edge is ridiculously sharp. Look at that edge. That's probably hand ground. Yeah, that's really nice. Wow. Really cool. I love that little, little etching there. And that, that carbon is beautiful transition. A little dirt there. Look at that. That's amazing. Here we go. Okay. All right. I think I get it. All right. So grip. Any hot spots? No, no hot spots. Let's see what I got. Medium to medium large hands. So remember, large width wise, medium length wise. Got plenty of room over here. Extra large, double extra large, I think could easily handle this. This is a smaller one. There are much larger versions of this. I like this because I think this one was, what are we talking about here? Uh, four, five, six, seven, almost eight inches, just under eight inches. So it's not huge, but it's not small. There was one that was under seven inches. I thought that would be too small. But this is really nice. Feels very solid. Any weight relief in there? Very, oh yeah, a lot of weight relief. Look at that. Can definitely see that. I don't know if you can get a little picture with the light there. Really nice. Uh, beautiful liner. I mean, I still can't believe that anodization on that that weight up, that cut relief. And it's just perfect. Let's see, where is the detent? Yeah. Really nice. Really, really nice. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. Really cool. I like the fact that when I drop it here, it comes right here. Perfectly fine. No guillotine on the thumb. Really, really nice. Action is beautiful. Nice detent. I like that a lot. Okay. Really, really cool. cool. Really blown away by this little knife here. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and take a nice close look up here for the camera. You guys want to see a nice look at the blade? Here, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. Nice look at the blade. Here's the body. The fat carbon. I bet that's going to be beautiful in the sun. Let's take a look at around the back and the... And the Deep pocket carry clip. Look at that. That's a long clip. I mean, I wish it was a little shorter, but it's certainly going to work well. Done really well. Look at the back of the blade and LMAX. Full blade right there. Look at that. That is quite a sight to see. Quite a sight to see. Wow. It's really cool. Really, really cool. That is something else. Okay, so things I notice is the beautiful polish on the hardware all the way around. Really nicely polished, gorgeous. Beautiful anodization and the milling on the clip as well, as long as the handle, just gorgeous. And it's just so uniform. And it and it matches in here as well, which I find really amazing. And the blade, beautiful ground blade. I think this is, I'm not sure if this is a I'm not sure if this is a stone washed or what, or satin. I'd have to look at my uh, certificate of authenticity and see what it says. Um, I don't think it says on there, but really, really cool. Wow, look at that. That is ridiculous action, okay. That is absolutely ridiculous. And look at that beautiful chunks of titanium there. Beautiful end right there. Comes together with the milling really nicely. You can see that. I love that right there. Coming through. Yeah, all that anodization is really gorgeous. And then the all around it here, beautiful. Nice thick blade, certainly robust. Definitely can get open boxes and all sorts of things. No problems with that whatsoever. Very, very cool. Pretty exciting. There's certainly that sing. You can definitely hear that.
that's just unique, very unique. It's really cool. And absolute blade lockup is ridiculous. Absolutely solid. Yeah, absolutely solid. Nice pivot uh, blade stop pin right there. Love the collar, I mean the, the pivot. Beautiful aesthetic, really nice. And this inlay is just phenomenal. Even taking it going all the way up to the top. And that type of inlay reminds me a little bit of the Voodoo, what the Voodoo did, but obviously they go up a little bit high like that. I think that's really cool. This right here, it's really neat. All right, I think I'm done. I'm done for the year. I have to be. <laughs> wow, that's really, really cool. I didn't know if I'd like the blue with this fat carbon, but I really do. I really do. It's a nice combination. It really is. Man, just that sound and that action is just insane. All right, so we talked about the lockup, we talked about the cutout, and we talked about the pin, deep pocket carry clip, nice grip, no hot spots, everything feels good. Um, got nice push cut, you got plenty of room over here. There's no jimping up here, which is perfectly fine because it's nice fat, flat blade, you have really good handle position. Comes to a very, very, very thin edge. The edge is nice and sharp for sure, which is really, really great. It really, really has beautiful action, glides. Reminds me a lot of my Arno Bernard. You know, it's just that beautiful, and my um, Trevor Burger, and my Shergorov, and my Magnese. Yeah, a lot of them all have that really nice, beautiful, smooth, buttery action. It's really nice, well-tuned, really nice. Love that. It's really a nice size, too. I really like that size a lot. It's really cool. Fits your hand really well. That's really nice. Feels like it could be a really good user. You know, definitely a knife I will carry, for sure. Really, really cool. Do like it. Do like it. Do like it. Do like it. Yeah. So there you go. The Herman Sting in Elmac Steel. Beautiful action. Now I'm forgetting a whole bunch of stuff. Clip is really cool. Nice stick. It has nice flexibility. I like that. Love the little, you know, polished on the bottom. So it'll move in and out of the pocket really nicely. Really, really enjoy that. Just a lot of nice little things on this knife. A lot of little aesthetics that work well. You would think with the sharp, aggressive edges, it would be uncomfortable, but it's not. Definitely contoured. You can see that contoured shape. Works really nice and works well in the hand. Very comfortable. I do like that a lot. That's really nice. Feels like it could really work well. And that edge, man. I don't know. I, I, I'm lost for words. I really am. This is like, wow. Just simply wow. Okay, let's do it again. You guys gotta gotta see this, feel this. this. <laughs> wow, I really try not to get myself excited and have my hopes up like I would be disappointed. And uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not at all. This is amazing, simply amazing, phenomenal. Wow, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, so this is the unboxing. We'll do a full review after we've carried it for a little bit, right? I've got several nicer knives i got to review. I haven't done yet. Been a lot of little knives coming in from manufacturers, but um, definitely want to experience this for a while before I give you my review. You can see a nice cut out there where your flipper finger goes in. There's no jimping on there, but it works really well. Get your finger right in there. It's definitely a light switch, I would say. I don't think it's a push button. I mean, could you? You could, but I think that would dig in your finger after a while. I think it's really meant better for... A light switch and I think that's the best way it works especially with the way it closes like that that's just really nice and still dead center absolutely dead center yeah you can just see a lot of those aesthetics on this thing you've got one screw there two screws there and then there's gonna be two screws underneath here but they're kind of hidden underneath the clip very minimal hardware I think beautiful it's beautiful inlay here I don't know if that comes off or it's glued on there can't quite tell. There is a screw there, and it must go into the inlay, so I'm assuming that is most likely screwed in, but really, really cool. And that's Sing. You know, they call it the Herman Sing. I hear it. I hear it. Really, really cool. Really nice. Really nice. Left-handed, too. Works fantastic. Beautiful. Really cool. Whew. Okay, I'm a little overwhelmed here, but this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, 
Herman's definitely there's that's a different different game totally different game wow really cool all right so the Herman's thing all right and that's the blue anodization with the, with the orange fat carbon inlay uh, LMX blade steel beautiful little knife hey if you have any questions about this knife and my upcoming review of the knife if you have any questions about the channel me any ideas for Rob's ramblings anything you'd like to see in the future reviews or unboxings please let me know in the comments down below I do try to reply to all the comments I do love interacting and talking with you guys part of the channel why I really enjoy hey if you found this content fun interesting worthwhile entertaining or informative would you please consider hitting the like button down below and if you've already hit that like button would you please consider hitting the subscribe button subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel allows me to produce more content do more things and basically just, you know, more things for you guys. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, if you've done all that, maybe consider hitting the notification button down below so you can be notified of future content when I drop other videos like this. Hey, and if you've done all that, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.